What's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video and holy dog shit. <laughs> holy dog shit. I don't think I've ever turned on my camera so goddamn fast in my life from what came across my news feed. Let me make one thing clear. The the crowd that says the why do people want games to fail crowd, the you shouldn't celebrate games failing crowd, them motherfuckers, oh, they gonna hate me. Cause I seen this news, nigga, I, I damn near did a little two-step and a little dance. Celebrate good times, come on. Mm, 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 mm. Listen, this is technically bad news, right? Generally, people would frame this as bad news. To me, this is amazing fucking news. I love it. I, I yes, I'm I'm a, listen. I'm a hater. Everybody knows that. Seeing the destruction of things I don't like absolutely brings me joy, and I have no. Just I I just don't feel bad about that. There's there's no reserve in me, like just just no, there's no pause I have, for. Seeing the downfall, the destruction, the failure of something I don't like. I truly take joy in that. Some people think that that makes me a bad person. I think it makes me a realist. I think it makes me an honest person. I'm not one of those that are going to be like, hey, man, you know, it's not my type of thing. You know, it's not my cup of tea, but I wish it the best. No, no, mm -mm. not me. No, I, I wish for the for the worst thing possible to happen to the things I don't like. And I'm not really talking about people. I'm talking about products, items, even groups of, maybe groups of people, collections, companies, development teams. Yes. Electronics. Yes. When it comes to that shit. Yes. I, I absolutely wish for some things to fail. And it just brings me so much giddiness and joy in my heart. Feels great. Anyway, but I'm, I'm ranting on. Um, this is something, I don't know if I've ever seen some shit like this before. This is boggling my mind. This is, this has to be one of the biggest fucking failures in gaming that I have ever seen. Like, this is, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. This is not even like cyberpunk type shit. Cyberpunk and I'm burying the leader. Cyberpunk was taken down because it had technical issues. So that's different. Games have shut shut down, you know, within maybe a, a week. Well, not even a week, like a, a couple weeks, months down the line because of low player base or something like that. I don't know if I've ever seen a game that was released... Hold the fuck up. Let me let me let me be precise about this. Concord release date. Okay. I don't know if I've ever seen a game be released and shut down within 10 days because it's complete ass. You 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 shit getting shut down because it's ass. See, if you got a good game and it just has technical issues, you can work with that. You got something to be happy about. Oh, we didn't nail it on the technical front. Your game is just pure ass. Like, that, do, you, do you know how, like, bad you have to be, how demoralizing that has to be, and you deserve everything from that? Like, a lot of things go wrong surrounding a game. But if you have a core game, a good core game at the center of that, you can overcome almost anything. Anything. There's been a bunch of games that have launched terribly and have had debacles and controversies, but they have been able to overcome it most of the time if you have a good game at the core. And that's what is always the most important thing. When we talk about Concord and people talk about, oh no, this is the factor why it why it was why it failed and this is the fact of why people aren't playing it this is the oh, it was the price it was the timing it was the this it was it's not a good game nothing else matters nothing 
when when you have a good game, you can overcome almost anything. You can do almost anything when it's good. People will throw every else, every other thing out the window wrong with it if it is just good at the core. And that has been proven time and time again. I'm ranting. I still haven't fucking said what the fuck is really going on. Because I'm probably a little bit too excited for it. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a real sick Negro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm sick to be this excited about this shit. All right. So 10 minutes ago, PlayStation released this statement. Concord fans, we've been listening closely to your feedback since the launch of Concord on PlayStation 5 and PC. And want to thank everyone who has joined the journey, uh, the journey aboard uh, the North Star. Your support. And the passionate community that has grown around the game has meant the world to us. Um, sidebar, fuck Waterboy, fuck uh, Firewalk, fuck Sonic, uh, fuck Paris too. Just throw that in there. Just wanted to say fuck all, fuck all of those people, all of those, yeah, all of that. All of those, fuck all of them. Um... <clears throat> Some of those got nothing to do with one another. I just want to say, fuck you. You know, just want to throw it out there. Um, however, while many qualities of the experience resonated with players, we also recognize that other aspects of the game and our initial launch didn't land the way we intended. Therefore, at this time, we have decided to take the game offline beginning September 6th, 2024, and explore options, including those that will better reach our players. So we have seen something like this where they take the game offline and release it um, like in a year. They did that with that Smash clones. Which one was it? Um, was it the Nickelodeon one or the like the Cartoon Network one? One of those. One of those brawlers. I forgot which one it was where they took it down. Um, you know, they made some fixes. I think it was a, that Nickelodeon uh, Smash type game. But that... That didn't happen in a week or 10 days. That happened like months after, and it still had some people playing it. They just wanted to make improvements. Um, so the, taking the game offline, like, do you know how, how they're, they, bro, internally, they just, they must be like, bro, we, we fucked up. And it, it's, this is the dichotomy of 2024. Four is amazing for PlayStation multiplayer because they released their most successful breakaway success multiplayer game in Helldivers 2 and also released the biggest fat turd dud of a multiplayer, forget PlayStation history, maybe in history period. Like that dichotomy is, is, is so insane. And I like it. Because if they, if they should learn anything from this, it shouldn't be, oh, let's give up on multiplayer. Because a lot of people think that this means that. But if you release something like, if you greenlit something like Helldivers 2, and it's the most successful multiplayer game, one of the, if not the, in 2024 also, the solution you should, you, the solution you shouldn't come to is, oh, abandon multiplayer. No, you should look at, okay, there's something about Helldivers 2 that people wanted, and there's something about fucking Concord that did not resonate with anybody that nobody the fuck wanted. And when I talk about multiplayer and what they should do, Helldivers 2 pretty much lines up with all everything I've been saying. Lines up with everything I've been saying, and it also kicks the fuck out of the points that people try to make about multiplayer. Oh, you can't charge for it. Oh, they did that with Helldivers 2 and it was, a, it was a success. That's not the that's not the fucking reason. Oh, you can't release this type of game in 2024. Well, kind of they pretty much did that with Helldivers 2 and people loved it. So my fucking point is the and, and oh, people people uh, uh, don't want live service games. Oh, Helldivers 2 is live service. You can't so you, my point my whole point is people always try to point to these specific things that that, that are the problem and those things are not the problem. Like I said, when you have a good game at the core, it doesn't matter what the fuck you surround it with. People care about the good game. 
It being live service is not the problem. It be costing money is not the problem. Because once again, Hell Divers 2 did all those things that people said you can't do and it's successful. And they're talking about, oh, we, we want to explore our options. The option is to abandon this piece of flaming shit. And your option should be looking at SOCOM kill zone resistance. I'm not, and once again, I'm not saying bring all three back, but if you don't look at those fucking games and clearly see what we can have success with those, you're a fucking nitwit and you're a fucking moron, Sony and PlayStation and whoever is making these decisions. The answer is, you, listen, you know how insane it is to have the solution to a problem and you own the solution to the problem? And you act like you just got nothing but problems. You have the, it, it is cl clinically insane to have a solution to, to a problem. It is yours and you just not use the, the solution. It's madness. It's insanity. You are the arbiter and the architect of your own issues. And you also could be the architect of the solution to that same issue that you have. Like, nigga. <sighs> While we determine the best path ahead, Concord sales will cease immediately and we will begin to offer a full refund to all gamers who have purchased the game for PS5 and PC. Here's the good part for PlayStation and Sony. You don't got to refund that many motherfuckers because not many that many motherfuckers bought the goddamn game. So that's the only positive in this situation. Oh, let's look at the list of people that we have to refund. Oh, well, in the grand scheme of things, compared to any other game, not that many people to refund. So we're not actually, oh yeah, we're losing a ton of money on how much we spent developing this game. But we don't got to give that many of y'all y'all money back because not many of y'all even bought the game. Nobody bought this shit. And maybe they turn this into a tax write off. If they like shut down the I, I don't know exactly how it works, but if they shut down the game, shut down the studio, they definitely can get some tax write offs for, for this and get some and, and get some money, get some money back. Like salvage what you can. This is what I've been saying. Salvage what you can. Fuck this game. If you're going to keep Firewalk open, listen, get the layoffs going. Get ahead of the layoffs. The layoffs is coming. We know it's coming. So kill the game. Get the layoffs popping and say, hey, get a head start on your next fucking game. If they do get a chance to make a next game. And it's very clear. Listen, your next better, your next game, it better be a good one. And it better be some shit people want to play or you fucking out of here, pal. You are fucking out of here. It's likely they don't get a second chance. Even though I have no love for this game, no love for this, de this developer, it usually is my sentiment that all developers should get two chances. If your, game, if your first game is a dud or you, know, you make a dud, um, you know, your, your most recent game is a dud, I don't think you get, should get shut down for that. I think you should get one more chance to prove yourself. And if you don't, then you get, get, get the fuck out of here. We don't need you anymore. Give them their walking papers. So a refund is, is, is wild. Um, this, this is PlayStation is, this is, this is, this is a very, this is a reputation hit. This is embarrassing for them. I'm sure. Because their thing, their appeal, their mystique has been about quality. Now, even though you could say, like, Concord, from a quality perspective, you know, from a quality and technical perspective, is it a messy, disjointed, just poor running game? No, the game is just ass. It's a well-running game game that's just that just sucks but still this doesn't look good 
for them optically. Like optically, this looks very bad that you have to like ref you you funded and released a first party game and you like that is insane. Like optically, that looks horrible on you. Because once again, their image is that studio of listen, our games come out and people love them. 80, high 80 Metacritic, low 90 Metacritic. Um, usually just fucking teams. You know, just usually just well respected. Not nothing like this. So I'm sure they're very embarrassed and they're little, they're reeling a little bit from this. <clears throat> Customers who purchase other digital storefronts will also be refunded. More information about refunds uh, from Steam and Epic can be found below. Wow. <clears throat> Once refunded, players will no longer have access to the game. We'll keep you updated and thank you again to all the free gunners who have joined, uh, joined us in the Concord Galaxy. Refunds may take uh, 30 to 60 days from the PlayStation Store and PlayStation Direct purchases, yo, all that yada yada. Man, wow. It's, it's shocking, but coming from PlayStation, they would be the ones to do this, right? Let's say this was xbox for example and this is not shitting on xbox but xbox seems to be a more for more forgiving um about duds as we know if xbox released this game for one people wouldn't be capping for it for two i think xbox would not have taken this game down if it did the exact same thing the exact numbers i think x not immediately at least not in 10 days they would have kind of like just Coasted along with it, you know, kind of like a Redfall situation and acted like the and for a short, very short time with PlayStation or at least Firewalk, they acted like, oh no, we're we're invested in the long term for this. Yeah, okay. But PlayStation, to to their credit, they're like, no, this shit is they recognize what this is. It's a piece of hot flaming dog shit. And we gotta shut it down. So I could at least appreciate them for recognizing that this ain't it, Chief. This is not it. And I'm dancing, I'm dancing on the grave. Listen, doing the two-step. Two feet just kicking right now. This game represents everything I hate and everything I stand for. And I'm I'm at the funeral. I'm one of the ops showing up to the funeral, like the meme, dressed in all black, smoking on the, on, on the cigar just to make sure my op is dead. That's what I'm doing with Concord. That's what I'm doing, man. I, it's, the, to me, this is, this, this, we might as well celebrate. This is a holiday. This is a glorious day. Because I do, I, because once again, I don't, I hope, I hope they would look at this and and course correct, not become gun shy, but course correct and understand why this happened with this specific game. This is not a stain and an indictment on multiplayer or on even on the PlayStation community. I don't believe that. I think this is very specific to Concord and the games like it in its vein. Which is why Concord is an absolute failure and Helldivers 2 is an absolute success. I don't know what, what else to say. I am... It's funny. It's funny. You just, you know, you just have uh, no more excuses to me. Because I, I'm also infuriated because, bro, 
you 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 took a chance and the shit you'd be taking chances on just doesn't make no fucking sense <laughs> like sometimes like the fuck are you talking about bro can y'all get i know it don't work like this but can y'all get some like gamers that actually have their air to the streets some connection to what the zeitgeist of uh, of gaming is right now when it comes to multiplayer just 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 have a connection to tell you what would work and what wouldn't y'all need a an advisor bro an advisor to tell you what would work because I feel like I would have been t able to tell y'all this doesn't fucking work. They just need somebody, bro, like a liaison, somebody that somebody on the on the gamer level, on the like knows the business side and knows the gamer side to know what the gamer wants and and can also. And I mean, I I guess that's that's the point of like Herman Holst and Hiroki to. Toki, well, not Hiroki Toki, the other guy that is co-CEO with him. He, Her Herman's supposed to be the gamer side, and that guy's supposed to be like the business side. So, you know, hopefully during their era, we see better choices, better choices made. But it, it just blows my mind when I just see things that I'm like, bro, I would have been able to tell you this. That they are somehow ignorant to. I would have been able to tell you this, bro. Sometimes, sometimes you just need you. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you need somebody that is very disconnected from the business. Somebody who's is like, like just can come in blind and tell you some some real truth about what they think of, think you think about what you're working on. I think that's what they need when it comes to the multiplayer efforts. <sighs> yeah, k kill this shit. Kill this shit. And, you know, listen, to all the people who were capping for this game, Don't do that again. <laughs> like I'm telling people that cap to not cap again. Like they're going to listen to me. But yes, this is, this is why I don't feel bad about when I be killing a game. When I just be killing games and talking shit about them. Because it's, I, bro, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like this shit doesn't happen. Like when I say some when I say some shit about a game, whether good or bad, the I, I always get proven right, essentially. I always get proven right about it, whether good or bad. So like all the people that was capping, like, bro, there was no, there was no point in that. Keep it real, stand in the game, it was bad. It was bad. So, because you don't want to send the wrong message. Capping for this game. You send the wrong message when you try to lie about, oh, no, it's good. Oh, no, it's actually. Bro, stop. Because you're not doing yourself, the community, gamers, no favor if you be lying and capping. Keep it real. It's, it's better that we get ahead of this shit. Get it done, kill it, bury it, burn it, throw the grave in the ocean, whatever the fuck we got to do, and move on. That's, that's, that, there's no reason to delay it or pussyfoot around and, ah, bro, we, the shit's a stinker. It happened. It's a disaster. Move on. I don't, I'm like one of those motherfuckers, listen, I don't care about this like how place like so how sony feels right how how this makes sony looks so this doesn't change my desire for multiplayer games to me all it says is this wasn't you didn't do the right thing you didn't make the right choices on to the next make the right choices maybe you'll learn from this that's all it means to me 
I think I've ranted long enough. Um, if you... <laughs> If you could, if you took this chance on this dog shit game, fuck. As soon as soon as I as soon as I listen, as soon as I reset my feed, or updated my feed, what's the first thing I see? Jez Corden. Concord isn't even a bad game. Jez, respectfully, shut the fuck up. Like I don't even got a problem with you. shut the fuck up. The game is ass. Please stop saying that about this game. The game is ass. Yes, it's not buggy, but it's ass. I, I hate seeing that type of shit. It bothers me. Oh, it's not, it's not even bad. Like, sure, people don't play games for it to just not be bad, though. That's not, nobody wants to play a game. Oh, it's, it's not bad. Oh, but we don't play games to just not be bad. We play games because we want them to be really fucking good. Nobody plays a game with that half-hearted kind of, oh, it's okay. No. So it doesn't matter if it's not that bad. As far as I'm concerned, not that bad is just as bad as complete ass. It's, it might as well be like, bro, because what's the point? If it's, if, if it's a six, it might as well be a one. Because what difference does it make? That's how I look at things. Listen, if, 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 it's, if it's mid, it, mid, and you know, different definitions of mid, but you get what I'm saying. If, if, if it's not good, if it's not great, then it might as well kind of be ass. Might as well kind of. We, we don't, things should not, the, everything should aim to be good and great. Below that, it's like, okay, well, what's the point? Hey, man, um, I've been ranting. Um, but y'all love my rants, but I apologize. I didn't mean to make this fucking like 30 minutes long. Uh, I'm getting pinged from my, my job. I got to answer some fucking people and shit like that. Usually, I like to wait because I feel like when I make these videos early, some news comes out that I also want to comment on and, and like be comprehensive with my thoughts. but. Hey, maybe I'm, listen, I could always make a part two shitting on this game. I definitely don't mind making a part two shitting on this game and stomping on its grave, okay? So I'm out of here. Let me know what y'all think. Catch y'all on the next video. Peace.